You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Item provided by Japan Crate for review. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Super excited to check out the next Japan Crate monthly subscription box. This is the premium size. They have other sizes and other boxes. You can look in the description area. I'll put a link to their website for that and you can learn more. And then I will now open this one here. And then we will see inside. I always give you like a quick look inside before I move everything out of the way, get some supplies, and then taste all the treats. Here we go. Loaded. Look at that. Jam packed. Let's see. Now, this booklet always tells you what's in it announcements, crate goodies, pages three and four. Okay, well, I'm not going to spoil that for you, but look. Is there a drink in here? Maybe not this. Oh, there is one right here. Okay, all right. So I will come back and then start tasting these one by one. Give them a little look-see. And some of these I've seen before, so we will see. I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. Snack number one is popcorn. But to my delight, it is clam and shrimp. Everyone knows you've got to have popcorn at the movies. This unique twist on a classic snack is perfect for spring, the season for clams and shrimp in Japan. So be sure to try this popcorn next time you're watching a movie and want to celebrate springtime. Well, let's just say I don't think that's, you know, a standard kind of snack. It is a Frito-Lay product. You think Frito-Lay would ever introduce something like this here in the USA? I don't think so. All right, so it says Mike Popcorn, I believe. Mike, unless I'm reading it wrong. And then, like I said, there's some clams, and then there's your shrimp. I'm not too sure about this, but we will try it. Now, I am not going to sniff the bag. I don't know why. Some, I think with this, it might put me in a position where maybe I don't want to try it. But let's see here. And now the taste. Shrimpy and clammy. I never thought I'd eat popcorn with these flavors. It does have a very fishy taste. Now, I don't mind clams. I've had them before, so I know what they taste like. It doesn't taste like shrimp and clams. Yes, it does. A mild saltiness to it as well. So overall, it's exactly what it says. Hmm, let's move that one out of the way. I don't know if I'd sit there and munch on it for a very long time. The second one is a lollipop candy. It says lollipops are the answer to the sweet tooth dilemma of wanting to have a candy at a movie but not wanting to make a mess. Plus, who doesn't like lollipops anyway? It's a high kick. Lollipop. I think we're a little far away for you to see it really well. And then, I don't know, who would ever try to read this, but there you go. And it's in the shape of a foot. I guess high kick, right? Kick with your foot. Let me take a bite. Okay, I tried to bite it. It was very sticky, like it stuck to my teeth. Hard to bite because it has an extremely sticky, but it's a nice flavor. All right, now it's all embedded in my teeth. So let's move on. Although that didn't taste like strawberry to me, it tastes more like grape. It says strawberry lollipop, but hmm, I see little purple grapes around here. Well, let's move on. The next one is a whistle, a candy whistle. We're back with more whistle candy, but this time in a Ramune flavor. You can whistle like the cute little birds on the package. A reminder that spring is finally here. So this is our spring box. These I've had before. Let's take one out and see if we can whistle. You just take it like this and go. Mmm, 
flavor is really good. It is like a Ramune. The candy is really soft. Did you hear? I didn't even get a good... It wasn't like a hard, crunchy candy. Very nice. Next one. Now, if these are what I think they are, they are super good. These potato chips taste just like thick cut french fries. The crispy texture combined with the savory butter and salt flavor help make these chips in an irresistible one and perfect snacking. An irresistible one. A Toho chip. If, it were, if it's what I think they are, these are probably one of my favorite chips. I have not been able to find these locally because they are so buttery and rich tasting. And I think this is exactly what they are. Oh yeah. Mm. I dare to say this is one of the best potato chips I've ever had. It is so flaky and crispy. Mm. I gotta save those. All right, another snack. Not a sweet item. I'm kind of going in order of their book. These light and crispy puffy corns are here in perfectly unique flavor. Okay, let's see what that is. Chili bean sauce is a sauce popularly used in Szechuan Chinese cuisine. So if you're a fan of Szechuan food or just like something spicy, this one's for you, and I do. And look at the little, I believe they're corn on the cobs. They seem pretty happy. Dancing around, giving you the, the one up, pointing, this guy's mixing in the wok. Let's try it. Now if I had these, I might have had these, similar ones. A lot of times I've had these or similar ones, but maybe not the same packaging, so it's not ringing a bell. So here we go. Of course, I always compare these kind of puffy treats to a Cheeto because most people know what a Cheeto is. There's the puffy Cheetos and the, the harder crunchy Cheetos. This to me just feels like a puffy Cheeto. And it is. And it leaves a lot of, hmm, that's good. I do like the flavor. Now it's not a flavor. Like these snacks for me are not something that I think I would just continue to eat. It's very strong. Not something I would munch on extensively, but it's worth giving it a try. Now spice-wise, it's kicking in the back of my throat pretty good. So I would say it has some heat to it. Next one. This looks interesting. It kind of looks like bacon-flavored sticks. This is Potorangu Tastes Like... Tastes just like french fries, but come in a more diverse set of flavors. This month's, this month, we're going all out with a garlic steak flavor that has an awesome savory taste. Okay, so that's steak, not bacon. Interesting, nice package. It reminds me of a breadstick. But it's a french fry, look at that, the picture anyway, look at that, it's like a breadstick. And look. Mmm. It is super duper crispy. And it does remind me of a steak. Hmm. That's pretty good. Very interesting snack. I think I could eat this one a little more aggressively than the other one. I like that one. All right, next is a candy kit. Now this one I have done before, so I usually don't do them if they're repeat kits, but I'll verify, but I'm pretty sure I've made this one. And a little ice cream cone, strawberry flavor. You just mix it up, fill your cone, and enjoy. So I will hold off on that. These I've had before, maybe not this particular brand, but it's an Easter one, Easter happiness with Mickey Mouse. So it's a Disney packaged version. Looks like you either cut this out and paint it or decorate it, so they're giving you a little extra benefit to having the cardboard box. There's a question mark one that's heart-shaped. Yeah, this looks like... There it is. A 
Okay, nice inside. Look, it's all Mickey Mouse with Easter eggs. Let's get a little flat bowl in here. Why don't have, I didn't bring any other flat bowls? Here we go. Okay, well I try to pull it apart and fly everywhere. Okay, here's the designs. So it's more than just Mickey on them. Hmm. I recognize the princess, but if I say the wrong one, then I'm just going to leave it at that. Let's see if there's a mystery one. Hmm, I wonder if anybody can tell me all of these characters. It would be a challenge for anybody to kind of do that. So if you're up for a challenge, give me the list. There's one of the seven dwarves. Hmm, oh, who's that guy? don't know. This one says good with a thumbs up. I don't see a mystery one. Are you recognizing all these characters? What is that? Is that some kind of fly? Fairy. Ooh, maybe. And poo. All right. Let me just bite one. I've had all kinds of these before, but I want to show them too anyway. All right, next one. They are tasty. They are crispy. You get a little bit of chocolate bite on them, but it's mainly the cracker that you're biting. It has a slight dryness to it, so I think it would be best with some kind of drink. All right, say goodbye to all of those. Just so you know, these snack boxes end up sometimes at the table, dinner table, and everybody just starts finishing all the snacks. All right, uh, let's see. Kanbu is kelp and is a, used, is a traditional Japanese snack, the sweet, sour, and savory flavor, making fun snack to chew on while you're watching a long movie. Kelp. Mm. I don't know about that. What do you think about that? Is that something you would eat while watching a movie? I don't think kelp would be in my top snacks. But I'll give it a try. It's interesting looking. Okay, let's set. Uh, I, I, I get a smell. Mm. It's almost like uh, something very... Hmm. I want to say, like, when you're decorating Easter eggs, you get that soury kind of smell. Hmm. Weirdest texture ever. The flavor is not matching the smell. Hmm. Well, I'm going to say that is one of the most interesting snacks I've ever tried. It's, think of it like you're biting a gummy, but the gummy has resistance. Have you ever eaten cartilage? I can't say many of you probably have, but if you eat a piece of chicken and you get a piece of cartilage accidentally, I don't know if you like cartilage. Look at that. It's hard to pull apart, but it's almost got a weird crunch to it. Let's see if you can hear it. Mm. It's not unpleasant tasting, just different. All right, next. A little one here. Oh, so that kind of had like a vinegary. That's what I was kind of saying with the Easter egg. Kind of like a vinegary smell to it. But not taste. Fans of banana flavor snacks rejoice. Banana Man is a banana marshmallow covered in banana, white chocolate, and filled in the center with milk chocolate. The taste reminds us of the chocolate bananas you get at the beach or a carnival. And I, well, we kind of have chocolate bananas that sometimes in the fridge. We get the frozen ones. Anybody like those? This kind of reminds me of a bananco. Or bananco, whatever you want to call it. Let's break it. Oh, it is puffy. Look at that. And there's the chocolate inside. 
It does have a really nice banana flavor. It's soft. There's almost no resistance to biting it. Mm, that one is good. Next, I believe I've had these before also. I sometimes forget. I probably had, I don't know, maybe a thousand snacks. I've never really put it in perspective. I've done quite a few of these boxes. Each has 10 or 20. I've got playlists with hundreds of different snacks. Oh, let me show you. So they're little crispies. Spring is the season for bunnies, so why not celebrate them with this carrot snack? The cute carrot shaped packaging holds inside, holds inside it small rice puffs in a sugary glaze. Like sugar smacks. Mmm. These are good. You think it'll just open this way? Nope. Out of luck. There, I'll get a bigger bowl. That's a tiny bowl. So I can pour more in there. How's that one? Sugar smacks. That's what I call them. They're very light and fluffy. Feel them. Mm-hmm. Reminds me of that cereal. And they're just, they're very easy to just pop, see? They're very light, very airy, crispy with a light sugar. Tasty. All right, next one. This one is seaweed. Hmm, not one of my favorite. These sweet snacks are sweet and savory just the way you like them. The sweet and umami soy sauce glaze mixed with the saltiness of seaweed make it an irresistible combination of flavors. I'm going to say it's going to be irresistible. I don't know, I guess if you grew up eating seaweed you would appreciate it more. Maybe I just haven't eaten enough of it to really appreciate it. But we'll see. We'll see if it overpowers the snack. How's that? I'm going to sniff this one. I want to sniff it. Okay, not reminding me of seaweed right away. Cool shape, cool design. I feel like they're going to be super crunchy. Here we go. They are. Mmm. I like those. The seaweed is very hidden in the flavor because they're sweet. I would say they're pretty sweet. Let's see if I can just break one with my finger so you can kind of see inside. No, can't. It reminds me of these french fries in crispiness, but totally different in flavor. That was really good. Let's rinse it down now with the drink. I've never had this one that I remember, but see the little pieces? This is telling me there's going to be little pieces of stuff in this one. Spring into action like your favorite action movie star by working those muscles. Shake the can to mix jello. The jello kind, not the stuff you put on toast. The jello kind, not the stuff you put on toast. And modus, mo, melon soda for a unique mixture of taste and flavors. Here we go. This is worth a side view. We'll see what kind of chunks pour out of this. Here we go. Hopefully they're good chunks. I think when you hear that sound, your, your initial instinct is not that it's something you want to drink. It's like, hmm. Well, here we go. Let's see. I will taste it. It looks refreshing. Hmm. It's got a very nice flavor, a light sweetness to it. But when you're drinking something that you think should be like a liquid and chunks are floating around and it's all... Kind of reminds me of those Dr. Dreadful sets where I was eating the, the brains. But it's good. I'm going to keep it there because it's just a pretty color. All right, almost done. This one had a little tie on it. Uh, now I know where that came from. I think this was around here, but it came off the bag. Cheese twists. We wouldn't be able to have a movie night. Wow, they're really pushing movie night, aren't they? Without a cheesy snack, these fancy twists combine camembert or camembert and cheddar cheeses. Hmm. Is that Wallace and Gromit camembert cheese? 
For unique flavor that you won't find in just any cheese snack, be sure to try them with two red grape juice for a kid-friendly wine and cheese flavor combination. Ah, I get it. Let's get a bowl. I think I'm going to like these just by saying cheese, cheesy snacks. I like cheesy snack camemberts. But I think Wallace and Grandma, he's like, Wednesday day. Mmm, look at that. Super crispy. Mmm. Okay. It is a nice cheese flavor. It doesn't remind me of any cheeses that I'm familiar with. Like the cheddar. Did it say cheddar? It doesn't remind me of cheddar. Maybe the camembert cheese. What is camembert cheese? I'm going to have to look that one up. Hmm. And I'm a cheese fan, and I don't think I've ever had camembert cheese. Well, either way, another tasty snack. And very crispy, watch. Thick and crispy like the last one. Okay, this is the bonus item. Gummy Chocos and Strawberry. I've had these before. Chocolate-covered gummies are super popular in Japan and all over Asia. If you've never had them before, here's your chance to experience the fun mix of textures and flavors. And it is. It's totally unique because you're getting the chocolate with all those other flavors. And it's good. I mean textures. And it's really good. I could eat this whole thing. That's why they are so good. Here we go. While I have my scissors here. Hey, get back here. It's harder to cut than I thought. Let's see. Come on, buddy. There we go. There's the layer inside. See that? It's like an eye looking at you. It's like my Choco eyes studying you. Mmm. Really nice flavor. I like the chocolate and the texture differences. Overall, these are really good snacks. I'm happy with these. These are really good. These are my fave. They are still my fave. These are good. Tasty. This one, probably one of the most interesting textures I've ever experienced in a snack. These here, eh, not my favorite flavor. And then this was it, this one here. I think that pretty much covers it. Besides my popcorn, the shrimp and clam favored. But it would be a nice little party if you had all these in bowls and people got to try them. Wouldn't that be fun? Well, there you go. It is the next subscription box from Japan Great. I'll have all Japan Great. I'll have all the links in the description area. Thanks for supporting Lucky Penny Shop. I do appreciate it. And thanks for watching. Later! If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up.